Hello there and welcome to another episode of Coding with Business Central and today we are going to look at the transfer fields function. So if you want to transform or to archive maybe data from one table to another and the source table and the destination table are similar that is they have similar records then this video is for you let's get started let's start with some theory here uh, where we have the transfer fields so it copies all matching fields in one record to another okay matching fields so it compares field one to field two of uh, the from record and the to record so matching field the syntax is record dot transfer fields and then we specify the from record and the to record so this is the uh, to record like the destination record transfer fields from this record that's why we are calling it from record very easy syntax and then we have the init primary key fields which means that if it's true the default one is true the init primary key fields huh? if this parameter is true and the records are in the same table remember transfer fields can be used to transfer uh, from a different table or a different record that is not of the same table so if that happens then and you are having um, okay so this record and this record can be different that is what it means so that's why we are saying if, if this parameter is true and the record the records are in the same table both the timestamp and the primary key fields of the destination record will be changed remember and if it is true and the records are not in the same table then the primary key fields of the destination record will be changed by the time type timestamp of the destination record will not be changed so when it's true and the records are the same um the primary key and the timestamp so it carries the original timestamp of this source record but if they are not the same then the primary key field uh, only the primary key field will be changed the timestamp won't be changed it will remain the same and um, if the rec the init primary key field is false then there is no change i think that's it for the theory let's go to the practical for now so um, i have a code unit transfer fields uh, we have uh, just created the vendor record uh, let me add vend so we want to transfer some fields from the vendor table can we pick maybe probably uh, let's create a table that will transfer some records from so this uh, uh, the, the record I'll go to definition so that I can get the accurate uh, how this table is I'll create a copy table with almost everything similar maybe how many fields field one two three four five let me keep it simple maybe with 10 fields okay field number one to field number 10 I'm copying that and then we create a new table here new file uh, vendor copy but it's not really a whole copy of the vendor I'm getting a million errors here we'll just repair it for now so the table will be 5101 uh, vendor copy caption vendor copy okay the data caption fields read on page we don't need all this we only need the caption even the permissions we don't need and then we'll now move to this starting with field number one we only need the caption nothing on validate you can see it's a code of 20 and this one as well we just need the caption such name is okay because it only has a caption the city field also we still only need the caption for now 
Mm. Okay, I have removed table relation. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, this field doesn't look at into that. As well, uh, the contact caption as well. Phone number, extended data type maybe can be relevant, but the rest, uh, the string length and all that, maybe. Uh, okay, these are functions that we don't have. And then finally we have that, and then we'll close this table. That's why it's, we have the red squiggly lines. Do you need another one? Okay. We have now closed and our table is ready for the yeah, for the table and for the fields. So now we are done. Does it have a primary key? <laughs> My goodness. Okay. So our table doesn't have a primary key. We need to create a primary key. Let me see. It's supposed to be no. The number is the primary key by default. Primary key. Keys. Okay. So the keys we have uh, only one, the number which is clustered. So we can just uh, specify that. We'll say PK. Let's come back here. Where is my table? I've lost track of my table. Okay. I have it back. So we'll have keys. And then we say the primary key is number should be number number come on primary key you don't want to pick and that is it oh no it's not supposed to be this way sorry for that we have the keys and then in the keys that's when we specify now the key okay Should keys have T key? Okay. I just I, I just usually use key if I've forgotten something. T. And then the other thing, type key. And then it will generate. So key, what's happening here? Boom, boom, boom. So the keys will not, I think it shouldn't have a bracket. Yes. So now for the key, uh, we have the number, we'll call it primary key, and then here, let me use this, number is my key. So the primary key and the primary key of the source and the destination will be the same, but there's something different. The only difference we have is um, maybe I don't have those other secondary keys, but that should not be a big problem. So we are transferring from one the uh, the one big table to a smaller table. We only need ten fields from that big table. So we instead of uh, initializing one after the other, we'll just use this uh, transfer fields, as we are going to see in a few minutes. Where is my code unit? Here it is. So this is the vendor table, and now the other transfer fields. Uh, record is a record of type transfer fields come on where is it i called it vendor copy oh and you guys can't remind me vendor copy yeah here it is so we have the vendor copy and the vendor so let's now just uh, transfer it on run of this code unit let me go to the vendors and I want to get uh, one vendor so that we can transfer and then we'll verify if whatever we have transferred is what is in the original vendor. Vendor, please open. Yes. London Postmaster. Looks good for me. There we are. We will get you London Postmaster. And then we'll come here. We know that's the number. What we need to do is get that particular record because 
the vendor doesn't have um, any value the way it is it's not uh, we need to initialize with the dot get so that we uh, uh, the, the get only gets the value with the primary key like we get it using the primary key like saying where vendor number we'll do a select query where vendor number is this to get uh, the value using the primary key so get can only you can only use the primary key under uh, in the get so we only want this particular vendor and now the vendor copy we transfer the fields from the vendor everything from the vendor we transfer it in it primary key fields is, is okay it's true and then remember after doing that we only need to insert you get it we get and then we insert so here we have um we are getting the vendor uh, vendor number 10,000 and then we transfer to this a good convention here is just to be safe maybe in it in it is to reset all the triggers all the values to the default values so that we can be sure that this vendor copy doesn't have anything before we do the transfer fields so we have in it cleared set everything to default and then we transfer it to the vendor then we'll go to our customer page list extension here and then on open page when we open the customer page because it extends the customer card when we open any customer card it runs this code unit okay let me just say done maybe for the purpose of knowing that we have run with the right code unit so the package has been created uh, and then i will just publish it to the server and we'll now be able to see we'll open a customer card and try to see if we'll now generate something in that uh, table vendor copy remember the vendor copy is uh, record number one okay 5101 so that we'll we'll preview the table from this side we want to go to customers and then preview the customer card we expect to get a done let me just view because this is on open page transfer field is working done it has done its work i hope it ran well uh, let's see from here we can be able to query that particular table the way you query a table you just add a query string call it table is equals to fee 50101 i hope it's true there we are we have the london postmaster at the london not like uh -huh. we have created this particular record from opening the transfer fields but again we have the primary key here let's try and recreate it again so that we can get an error we expect to get an error because we are recreating it oh uh, okay it's done what do you mean okay here is our error the record in table vendor copy already exists that is the value 10,000. okay let's get a bit uh, funny here and change this to 20,000. Uh, where is it? Twenty thousand. Uh, the record. Okay, let me stop uh, the debugger that is running. Let's go to our vendor. Change to twenty. We hope the vendor twenty thousand are value, and we transfer fields. But now let's tamper with our vendor copy table. To prevent it from having the right uh, text okay the search name in the vendor is called a hundred let's change it to text we expect this to work because text and code are compatible you can be able to transfer from text to code without any problem uh, should we test that really yeah maybe we test that and then we'll see uh, 
I wanted to change the data type to a data type that is not compatible. Okay, let's do that as well. That one will be compatible. Field 8, uh, okay, it will refuse because of the force. Huh? It will require a force. Let me just create field 10. It will refuse. I wanted to change this to a decimal, field 8, but you know I have to force the change in the table because I, I, want, I don't want to force the changes. Uh, let me just create another table. Field. Uh, I'll make sure that it's something that will not work for the other transfer field so that we know that the field numbers should match or the data type the data type of the field numbers should match so this is test field test come on and then we'll call it int integer I'm sure that field number 11 of vendor table is not integer or we don't have field number 11 let me confirm let me be sure so that it can't be a um, test that is not a test, a real test. Here is our vendor table. Do we, re do we really have field number 11? From field number 9, we go to field number 14. Oh my. That could have, it could have worked anyway because we have field number 11, which is not conflicting with any other field. So, you know, this transfer field used, uses the field number to match. So field number 14, I'm calling it an integer. So it means the other one is not an integer and this one is an integer. It will try to match and we expect it not to do anything. Uh, okay, let me create the package, uh, run it. Very fast, could not unpackage the package. Yes, so here is the error. The field search name has changed its data type from nav code to next chain. Uh, changing the data type is not allowed. Okay, my. I think I need to force schema update mode. I need to force sync for now. It's not advisable to use it, but uh, <laughs> let me force this synchronization for the schema update mode. To run it, I've uh, forced it. <laughs> okay, now we will open the customer again. Let's view the customer. Come on, the following fields must have the same data type this field, test, and our account number. Remember, integer to text. You can see the other field did not generate an error yet, it was from a code to text. So the compatibility is what matters the compatibility of the fields and uh, i think that's it for the transfer field may god bless you i will see you in the next video if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one